going on everybody it's chris here finally back from real bite tv so today i'm going to show you guys uh basically tell you guys how to save your first thousand dollars okay guys now a few people have asked me not just in youtube but in personal life how do you save your first thousand dollars when you're starting out well i'm going to do i'm going to give you i'm going to give you guys a few tips one take i'm going to give you guys a few tips to show you guys how i did it and a few steps that i've done now, I'm not going to give you the obvious things as in like stocks and, and all that. No, no. I'm just going to give you real life things that I use and methods that I use to save my first thousand dollars and see if it applies to you. If it works, it works. If you don't like the way I do things, then don't do it. Do, do something else. There's a million other videos on YouTube to show you guys how to save and earn your first thousand dollars. But this is mine. So with that being said, here we go. Number one, guys. So the number one way to save and get to your first thousand dollars is to try to have multiple streams of income all right with that being said what i'm saying is if you have a regular job let's say you work at mcdonald's okay monday through friday you work mcdonald's okay saturday to sunday you're off if you work at mcdonald's in a day shift at night you're off if you work at mcdonald's at night in a day shift you're off find something to do it doesn't matter what it is just find something to do it could be it could be uber you can cut you can cut grass your, your name is grass you can paint you can have a moving business like i did you just have a moving job or you want to pick up truck um you can, you can cut hair if you're a barber the list goes on but the point is have more than just one stream of uh income because if you happen to lose your job now you have nothing coming in whatsoever you have no extra money you have no other fallback plan. That one job that you have, that one stream of income coming in has now just been cut off and you're stuck. You're, you're screwed, you're stuck, and you have nothing left. So try to find a little side business, a little side hustle, Uber, Postmates, Grubhub, whatever works for you. Find that and that's gonna lead to your first thousand dollars. All right, guys? And if you take that same concept and just expand it and get bigger, with your side hustle and your regular job, Eventually, you'll quit your regular job and then work your side business and make three times as much you did on your regular job. So that's just something for you guys to put out there, but that's what I do. First thing is have multiple streams of income. Number two, the second thing, you have to get in a habit of saving money. Now, when I first started out um, trying to get to my first thousand dollars a couple years ago, when my paycheck comes, direct deposit, and I see that $1,000 in my account, I'm going shopping and I'm buying everything. I'm going out to eat. I need some new clothes. I'm going to the amusement park and I might save a little bit of extra money, but then all of a sudden, car breaks down and I gotta take the extra money I had left and buy tires, I gotta buy a battery. I need a tune up, an oil change. Everything comes up and I'm just left at the end of the day with nothing. So I'm stuck at paycheck to paycheck save a little extra something happens again and you're back to paycheck to paycheck so what i want you guys to do is i'm going to keep you the mcdonald's as a reference because that's a pretty small basic job that people start off with um for, for the most part this is just what i use for the example nothing wrong with working at mcdonald's okay guys i worked for the rest my first job so a little caesar so just that's we all gotta start somewhere but um uh, if you work at mcdonald's let's say you make 350 dollars a week all right Everybody's situation is different. Some people have to pay rent when they first get their first job. They have out family members. But if you can, start off small. If you can take out $20 per paycheck, put it in a savings account, put it, just put it somewhere where it's not directly in your um in your line of sight where you can use. So I wouldn't have it in cash. Because you can just pick up the cash in your room or whatever and spend it. Just, just put it in a different account. Once you get into the habit of taking out a little bit per paycheck, you'll you'll see that that money of your savings growing. And you want to expand it. So you're doing it for a couple of months. And now your $20 is turning to $100. And you're like, man, I got $200 in like a couple of months. I wonder how long it take me to get to $500. A year goes by with putting $20 in. And then you're like, man, I want to get more. Let me, what? Let me put more in. Let me increase my $20 per paycheck to $100 per paycheck. And then before you know it, you're going to look up one day and realize, oh, snap. I got like $20,000 in a bank. Huh. That, when I learned that right there, that, that helped me out with my spending. Take out a little bit at first. They don't care what you make. If, it, if it's $5 per pay period or $5 per day, 
Just take it and get used to just taking money out and putting it somewhere else for you not to touch it. Once you get into that habit, you'll get into the next habit, which I have, which is when you want to save up for something, now I have the money saved up for it. I don't want to spend the money for it because I'm so used to just saving. And this is that's just where I'm stuck at right now. I, I saved up like $800 for a new pressure washer just to have a new one. And I, I don't want to save. I don't want to spend the money. I, I enjoy it sitting in my account, so I'm not trying to touch that. But that's another topic for another day. The point is, start off small, save your money, and just put it away. Don't touch it. That's it. Number three. The third thing you got to do to earn and save your first thousand dollars is very obvious okay guys i don't make this stuff up. i'm just telling you my point of view of what works for me so okay i'm not the guru here guys i'm not telling you how to get rich quick i didn't invent this i'm just telling you guys what worked for me but the third thing you have to do is spend less than you make i can't stress how how very important this part is number three is very important okay let's give you an example let's go back to mcdonald's all right you make five hundred dollars every single week after taxes, all right? You got 500 in your account. If you spend $500, by the time of your next paycheck, you're stuck again at paycheck to paycheck. Now, again, everybody's situation is different. Some people have kids to take care of, your car is broken, you're trying to do that, you got credit card debt. The point is, you have to figure out not to spend everything that you make, or don't spend pretty much every, like, so if you make $500 a week and you spend 450, by the time you pay for a mystery expense that just happened to come up in an emergency situation, you have nothing left again. You're back to paycheck to paycheck, okay? And you're going to always be paycheck to paycheck. If you made $10,000 a month and you spent $9,500 a month, you are still broke. So none of that matters. So number three is very important. Don't forget to spend less than you make. Please, if you don't remember nothing from this, save, 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 save and spend less than you make. Number four, this part is also important. Set a budget. That is also very key to this whole situation. This kind of ties into spend less than than what you make because if you don't sit down and set a budget of some sort, this is not gonna work, okay? Back to the McDonald's um, example make $500 a week, okay? $100 is rent. I don't know where the rent is $100, but for this example, rent is $100. Rent is $100, okay? Your car payment that you just got, which I don't know why you bought, okay, on the McDonald's budget, is $100 a month, okay? Your insurance for the car, $100 a month, all right? You have to eat and you need gas. Just put it together and just say you make $100 a month for food and gas, so 50 each, okay? You have $100 left. Now, all of a sudden, you're going home one day and tire goes flat. Now, you have to get a tow truck to tow it or you just change tire yourself. And regardless, you're going to 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 have to buy a new tire. So, boom, there go your extra $100 that you thought you were saving and that's gone, okay? If you set a budget, for example, okay, I have $500 a week. I'm going to put $50 for food for the rest of this week. I'm going to take that out and put that away. I have X amount set for bills. And this is what I'm saving. Automatically, before I spend any money, take out the low part I budget out for savings and take it and put it away. So that way you don't see it. You don't, you don't think you have it. All right? Because that money, that you, all this money, this whole point, all this money you have saved could be used for an emergency fund. You never know when you want to need a couple hundred dollars for something to happen. You, you, you just never know. Okay? But that's another topic for another day. What, 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 do, you, what do you do with the actual money? Right now, I want to just tell you how to get your first thousand dollars or your first five five thousand dollars the concept is the same the price of the what you're trying to get to doesn't doesn't change but the concept is pretty much the same okay so please set a budget for groceries set a budget for, for gas for going out you know your girlfriend you gotta set a budget for how much you guys gonna spend per month so that way you're not just looking at your paycheck and like man i made two thousand dollars in a week but for some reason, I only got seventeen hundred left. I mean, seventeen hundred. Uh, I just screwed it up. You know, we're gonna keep it going. I have two hundred left. Two hundred dollars left out of seven out of two thousand dollars. But what is going? Where did my money go? Okay, we want to eat. Okay, we're doing shopping. I need a new tire on my truck. Ah, you know what? We'll try to get next week, and you just keep doing it for the rest of your life. 
So if you don't actually sit down and write out a budget, it's not gonna work. It's just, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's just not gonna work. So those are the four basic steps that I use um, to save my first thousand dollars. And I use the same concept up until now, all right? Now, I'm gonna just tell you guys a little bit briefly about me. Now, I'm not bragging, I'm just giving you guys facts. I have a few few um, streams of income. I have five streams of income, all right, guys? I have a regular job and then four things I have on the side. Two of them are passive, all right? Well, I absolutely do pretty much nothing. YouTube is one of them, but I don't make a killer on YouTube. Just makes extra money for, I don't know, a rainy day, I guess, okay? With that being said, I also set a budget. You wanna, you're not gonna get anywhere unless you set a budget. So set a budget, all right? And I also spend less than I make. I spend money like I work at McDonald's, okay? I don't spend everything that I make. I don't spend half of what I make. I spend a fraction of what I actually bring home a month on what I or what I need aside from bills, okay guys? And obviously, I set a budget because that's just how, that's just how I do it and it's been working. So if something I'm doing is working, I'm gonna keep doing it. Now again, I don't make this stuff up. I didn't come up with this one day. I didn't sit down and write a book. I'm just telling you things that I've done and things that I see other people do that applies to me and works for me. So I'm sharing that experience with you guys because you guys, you guys are the best. You guys, everybody TV, you guys, you guys are the best, all right? But that's it, guys. So I appreciate you guys for watching the video. There should be some more um, income-based videos coming up soon. Um, I've been kind of slow, guys. Let me be honest with you. I haven't paid that much money for advertisements this month. So work has been kind of slow. So that being said, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys for watching the video, and I'm out. Peace.